Hi folks, welcome back to Easy Finances. Today we're going to be looking at four different dividend stocks and I'll go over some of the details and how and why I buy them. Welcome back to Easy Finances. I'm Wes and I just want to throw a quick disclaimer out there. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on the internet that's buying some stocks. So please don't take advice from me. This is, does not constitute advice. It's just some entertainment and hopefully informational purposes as well. And with that, let's continue. So we're going to be looking at four different stocks today, dividend stocks that is, and it's going to be Cardinal Health, ticker symbol CAH, Walt Disney, ticker symbol DIS, Leggett and Platt, ticker symbol LEG, and JP Morgan Chase, ticker symbol JPM. And yes, I do own a portion of all, of all of them and I'm buying them in this video. Our first company is Cardinal Health and it is a medical supply company. They deliver medical supplies and pharmaceuticals to from factories to at the hospitals. So it's a middleman. And this is what our position looks like in Cardinal Health. We have $13.58 in it. We bought it at $52.97. We can improve by buying it at $50.43. Next company we have is Walt Disney World, and I think everybody's pretty familiar with them and what they do. They have the new Disney Plus, they have the amusement parks, they have ESPN. You got it. Our position in Disney, we own $68.09 of it. We bought in at $95.47, which is a good buy in. It's at $104.50. And that's still a good buy. And here we have probably the least known, uh, Leggett and Platt. And they make all kinds of consumer and industrial products, such as foam bedding, uh, foam for your, your upholstery in your car, your springs, bed springs. Here's what our position looks like in Leggett and Platt. We, have, we own $31.86 worth. We bought it $29.57. It's now selling at $29.88. We can add to it roughly at the same price. For our final company, we have JP Morgan and Chase. It's a huge bank. They have Chase credit card, those types of items. And I don't think anybody has any questions. It's a bank, it's a big bank. Here's our position in JP Morgan Chase. We own $85.64 worth. We bought it at $95.60, and it's on sale for $102.76. Okay, we're going to quickly go over our dividend stock criteria here. First, we want a known established company. So we just want to make sure that uh, it's not just a startup or something. Uh, we're going to check out the PE versus the industry average. The five-year dividend above or below average. So we just want to see where we're at with the dividend, if we're getting in at a good ratio or not. It's uh, for timing issues, along with the PE. We're going to check out the history of the dividend. We're going to be looking specifically for growth. We're going to check out the payout ratio. So how much of their earnings are they paying out? And finally, we're going to look at any news that's. Uh, going on with the business. We just want to make sure that there's nothing jarring or shocking going on or why is it down today? Why is it up today? Uh, things like that. So if we're going to be placing new money in, we just want to know what's going on. All right. So now we look at the companies individually here with Cardinal Health, ticker symbol CAH. We have a PE of 9.2 versus a 17.5 industry standard so as you can see that's quite a bit lower than the industry standard it's good it also gives a yield of 3.82 percent that's a that's a great return for the dividend and that is above the five-year average for this company of 2.72 percent they also have dividend growth it's on the slow side at two percent but uh, some it, some dividend growth is better than none I would prefer it to be around five percent and that's typically what I look for, but with a starting yield at 3.82%, I'm not going to be angry about it. Uh, the payout ratio is 35%. That is fantastic. 
they certainly have room to grow that dividend in the future if they wish and I do kind of like that they're keeping that a little bit low though and being conservative with that as far as news uh, with Cardinal Health it's uh, the Rona all day they are definitely uh, doing a lot of business shipping out pharmaceuticals medical equipment so I don't see any um, problems with that in the near time future next we have Disney Disney has a PE of 37.7 versus a five-year average of 17.1 for this company now the reason I don't put this against industry I really don't think that uh, there's many companies that are exactly like Disney with the amusement parks with the entertainment aspect for uh, the television things like that so I, I just measured it against itself it's got a five-year average of 17.1 a forward PE of 37.7 that is very high as you might imagine but I think the numbers are skewed because of what's happening right now you got a yield on the dividend of 1.65 percent versus a five-year average of 1.47 percent so it's a little bit higher yield than their average which is good and uh, I, it's just a, a company I really want to be a part of because I see over the next 20 years it's, it's still going to be growing and and keep going it's got a slow dividend growth at two percent but uh, again I'd like to fight and see five percent but you know I'm happy that they're keeping some of that the payout ratio is 32 percent which is fantastic definitely room to grow there the next company we have is Leggett and Platt they have a PE of 17.9 versus a 15.5 for the sector so they are a little bit above the the sector right now and that's okay with Leggett and Platt it's a, it's a very premium company I, I like them they've been very good over the years and uh, I don't mind paying a little bit above the sector I think it's a quality company they have a yield at, of their dividend yield at 4.41 percent versus 3.06 percent for their five-year average that's phenomenal so if I'm getting a starting yield at 5.41 percent I'm not too sad about paying 17.9 times the earn earnings on that. Uh, the dividend growth is 5%. That's considered average. That's what I would want my stocks to grow at. So if they continue to grow at 5% a year, even if they don't, it, with a starting yield at 5.41%, it's hard. Uh, not it's it's hard to be angry at that. 5.41% is a great yield. Uh, payout ratio right now is 61%. I think that is kind of high. So we'll see what they're. Uh, business is going to look like. I don't know how much more they can grow their business. I mean, I suppose they could go to more places worldwide, but uh, yeah, I, I would like to see that payout ratio stay the same for a while. So if they don't grow their dividend and we get a 5.41% yield, that, that's fine. The last company is JP Morgan Chase. They have a PE, forward PE of 12.3 versus 10.6 for the industry. Again, a premium company. Uh, JP Morgan Chase is, is probably the top company in the U.S., top bank in the U.S. So paying a little bit above what the industry standard is, I think, is warranted. Especially when you look at the yield, 3.75% versus their five-year of 2.67% for the year, their average. I, I think you're getting a great starting yield here. With dividend growth of 25% last year, I don't, I don't see that happening this year or this next year. Uh, probably for the next couple years anyway, but uh, if they grow their dividend slightly, I'm happy with a starting yield at 3.75%. I'll be patient with that. It's a great company. Happy to be a part of that. It's got a payout ratio of 32%. I think that's great. I think the number's going to be skewed. We don't know what we're going to get coming out of this with J.P. Morgan Chase, but I do know it's a, it's a great company, and again, I'm happy to be a part of it. So that's how they measure up to the criteria, and this is why I'm buying them. Okay, folks, so we're going to go ahead and put in these orders for these four companies. Let's take a look at what we have. Cardinal Health. Just click on it. Go to the pie right here. Hit Buy, Sell. And we'll put in for $10. Hit Continue. Confirm Buy. We go back to our dividend stocks. Next company is going to be Disney. Same thing. 
buy sell and ten dollars continue confirm buy very easy with M1 finance they make it very easy and go back to dividend stocks next company is going to be leg it and plat click on it buy sell ten dollars continue and confirm buy and we have one more company to go to as we go back to dividend stocks here uh, JP Morgan Chase huh it's gonna be up here so click on it buy sell ten dollars continue and confirm buy And there we have our four stocks for the day. Easy as can be. If you like what we covered here today, please consider subscribing and like this and share it with your friends. Thank you.